Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We are here just outside the mayor's house. Then it's dark. So we can finally do this quest. Um I I think he said to come into the back come to the back door. Uh or at least that's what I remember. I'm not positive about that though. Um, does that mean I need to go straight to the back or do I have to go in the front gate and then go around to the back? I have no idea. Still, this is it. Um, no, don't open the journal. I wanted to open my satchel. Can I open my satchel? Yeah. I wanted to look at the note again. Um, letters, letter from, here it is. See what it said. Um, Let's see. Come to the back of the mayoral residence any night you wish. Knock on the door. My assistant, Jean-Marc, will let you in. Okay. Yes. That's what I thought it said. Come to the back. Well, since it's completely fenced off, or at least I'm assuming it is, I will come into the front and then go around to the back. Oh, look. There's a side gate. Oh, well. Wow, those are some bright lights, for sure. Um, Panda, can you go down the steps? Okay, here's the back of the mayoral residence. This is where we had the ball, the party, whatever. Where should I leave Panda at? Is it starting to rain? Oh, it sure is. Okay. Um, I don't think I can hitch her anywhere. Can I hitch her to this tree? Nope. Can I hitch her to this lamp post? Nope. Can I hitch her to this lamp post? This really, really bright halogen lamp post. Oh, good. I can hitch her to this one. Or to this little tree. Odd. Odd choice, but okay. If it works, it works. All right. <clears throat> Let's go do this. Uh, which one? This one. Yes? Uh, I'm, uh, uh... Sorry. I'm looking for, uh, the mayor. Yes. Please. Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. <laughs> Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Le Mieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I... I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But uh, yeah, there's always a but. Oh, of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. <laughs> Be ridiculous killing. Oh dear. Terrifying. Yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now it's all very ethical, 
You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. And how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy <laughs> art <laughs> of some <laughs> nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. <laughs> okay. Get, get some of Charles's work in there instead. Come on, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. Right. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. <laughs> yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy. Working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Opinions can change. Can they not? Oh, they change all the time. Of course. Power of reason is not to be underestimated. Reason. Well, that's one word for it. Good, good. You do not look so much like a rhetorician, but um, Monsieur Lemieux has placed his faith in you. Looks can be deceiving. The mayor understands just what I can do, I'm sure. The gallery is just up ahead. Come on, go faster. Or not. Where are you going? Oh, it's pulling over by itself. There, okay. Mr. Arthur, there! Oh, what's his name again? Officer Shiftaker. What? What was his name? I didn't catch that. Shift Acre. Oh, that's right. I don't want him to see me. Buenos días, señor. Approach him. I can't walk. Hi. Professor? Excuse me. Ah. Hello? The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's going to upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> I gotta punch you to change your mind. I, I couldn't. My reputation. You gonna think of your reputation when your brain is jelly? I I'd never be published again. Maybe I'll just kill you. Make this all go away. <laughs> I relent. <laughs> I relent. Okay. There. <laughs> you see, Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, I, I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. 
I... You know I'm right, Professor. Please, not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs? Um... Because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. <laughs> okay. Return to Jean-Marc. Okay. Um, that was this way. No, it wasn't. It was this way, right? Um, yes. Joseph. Hi. John Mark, there's the, car, the buggy right there. But he's not in it. Oh, there he is. Morning, mister. So, turns out all those pains were real after all. <sighs> Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh. Lord, this is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. <laughs> the mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. Okay, done. All right. Now what? <laughs> Now, where's my horse? Uh, no, I want the map. <coughs> um, where am I at? I'm right here. My horse is still tied. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> That's just wonderful. Gah. Usually she comes with me. Yeah. Oh, uh, hold on. Is there anything over in this area that I should do while I'm here? Photo studio. Huh. Maybe I should go get my photo taken. For, you know, posterity. For the history books. If you can. I mean, I'm assuming you can. If it's on the map. It's as you can do it, right? Hi. Studio portraits. Okay. Let's see. Ah, this is your first time, no? Um, how did you know? Okay, hey, let's do it. Why not? I'd like you to take my portrait, please, sir. Okay, change pose. Should he... Oh, yeah. Um, yes, now, pose for me. Sipping a cup of tea. That. Yeah. Holding. Okay. That's a little better. Let's see what other ones there are, though. Holding a cigarette. Hmm. That one's not bad. Meh. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Um, can I change his expression? Smile, look mean. Seems to me. <laughs> <that one. laughs> <The> pose. <laughs> um. Give me a pause and don't be shy. Oh, I'm not shy. There. Okay. So the photo is five dollars. I can change the background? How does that work? Um it doesn't Oh Weird. Why not? You are the focus. Does he just have a big like roll? Actually, Bordellos around here. We could go to. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> That'll do nicely. I'm just looking at them all. I would hmm. make it work. Is that the last? That's, I think that's the last one. Um. 
Why does it go so slow? Keep going. Everyone will think you went to ancient Greece for this photograph. Let's do this one. Do this one. Alright. You would be wearing less. Okay, there. That's good. Let's wait for the smoke to go away from his face. There. There it is. There. <laughs> okay. That's all. Cool. So, oh, sorry. I have one. Oh yeah, he had it on a big roller. Okay. Oh, I see. Interesting. How immersive. <laughs> okay. Thanks for your assistance. Oh, look at the weather. Uh, okay. Well, what else is over here? I don't usually take the time to look. There's a saloon. That's. Uh, we went to that saloon. The doctor, the barber, the clothes. Okay. Um, we've pretty much been to all of these places. I'm going to run back and get my horse. And, oh, and then... Um, we got this thing Dutch wants us to do. And I suppose we should go and do it. Because that's all there is to do. So, yeah, I'm going to go get my horse. And we'll head off back to camp to talk to Dutch. Hey you! I recognize you! Huh? You're one of the fellas from the riverboat, ain't you? Kill all those people and for what? A few dollars? Uh, Not that cheap to you, is it? Sorry, mister. I think you got me mixed up with someone. No, no. I never forget a face. Never. Enjoy spending your blood money. Okay. If why would you do that though in in, in real life? If you knew that you were speaking to a murderer, or the, if you knew that some guy that was walking down the street was uh, some guy who killed like I don't know what he'd be killed like a dozen people. Half a dozen people? Would you really just say, Hey, aren't you the guy that killed all those people? Wouldn't you more likely just go tell the police where he's at? And... Yeah. Oh well. Who goes there? It's Arthur. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting. Well, no, I don't keep forgetting that I need to buy ammo. I keep deliberately not buying ammo because <laughs> um, it's up there next to Dutch. I mean, it probably wouldn't trigger him if I went into the room where the book is, but you know, I just didn't want to risk it, so. Oh good, the rain finally stopped. Oh man, it's been a while since I was in camp. Huh. I'm gonna just go ahead and talk to Dutch. Yep, I'm coming, Dutch. Okay. Although, before I do that, I do want to look and see if there's any other side quests. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright, let's talk to Dutch. Yeah, I could have gone in that other room. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge, we hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? 
leave this country, we need that money. I just don't feel good Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever gonna pull. Before the year is out, we are gonna be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Uh, probably he's I've not. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Why? A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I've been and there. And a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. <laughs> okay, follow me. Okay. Following you. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Hmm? Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, oh my. is this Tahiti plan oh my gosh. really going to work out? Dutch. You tell me, Arthur. Your horse! Is it? Have some god. Hey! That's your horse. Bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but 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 when did you become so small? I'm not doing anything. You didn't shoot me. If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together. Working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Oh. Yeah. He's all, <laughs> he's all Thomas. <laughs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. 
The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Hmm. Okay. Be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. Hi. And stay on the high ground. Yeah. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Okay. Are you gonna go get them? Are we going out with you? Mr. Dutch, can you keep a lookout for company? Mr. Arthur, check the traps with you. Uh huh. Of course. Let's just can walk you please check the other one for me, Mr. through Arthur? the leech infested water. Fun. Oh, look at that sturgeon right there. Or a alligator gar or whatever that is. I don't know what that is. This one's empty. Hard to tell. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. Hmm. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going out to Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Hmm. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. Um, you guys, there's, mm -hmm, there's an alligator right there. You can see why oh, we just went under. Waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peace. Nobody bothering you now. There's the night folk one ahead of us time. and a snake. The night folk. Are we yep, some strange searching this trap? Should I? Than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. What did I? Oh, I found one. Sooner we get this done, the sooner I can help you boys. Well, I, I'm getting it done. But it looks like you're going out into deeper water. We're going up. Waho! We are armpit deep in sludge here, and there's a poisonous snake right there. Really? Is this how you catch crawfish? Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Yeah, I, that's like the third one I've seen. Alright, let's keep moving. <laughs> I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find it. Yes. Okay. They are gonna smell bad after this. But at least Dutch isn't muddy anymore. Hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap's stuck in the mud. It happens. Um. Whoa. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. 
What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. <laughs> Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this could wait. Let's go. Yeah. Where are we going? Are we just... Whoa, hey, don't push, Dutch. Oh, dear. Where Are we going to walk out there? Why? I thought we were waiting for a boat. Can't we just wait here? <laughs> huh? My god, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them. Exactly. Come on. <laughs> yeah, this... Who's... Why? We really should have run into jewels by now. Why can't we just... I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Why okay. Can't, can't Arthur, we just... Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. Oh, well, thanks. Keep your eyes open. Why can't we just wait here and call him and wave our lanterns around? Hmm. Why do we? What's the point of getting a boat if we're gonna walk all the way there in the water, anyways? Hmm. These are valid questions, are they not? Stupid. Hey, what if we got What if we get stuck in the mud and drown? I keep hearing water noises behind me. Oh now I can Jules! call out. What's that? No! Are you in this hole? <laughs> what is this hole? Oh no, now I can't even see. Oh, they're over there now. Hmm, huh, okay. Hey! Someone there! Falling down building over there. Jules! It's probably alligator food. What is that thing over there? Hey! Someone there! There's a light on in that little barn, but oh no. Is he uh Jules up here? Oh that must be him. Why are you in a tree? Um Over here Yeah, I see you, but why are you in a tree? Tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's up there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Oh, big good. and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. There's You the... must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? It's over right there. there. I ran. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. I'll need a cannon. Okay. Um. 
Um, yeah. I can see it. Oh, good. How did you get it stuck? I got the stuff. It's over here. Stuck. to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Tree, boy. This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Oh. Now, boy, I think we hit a tree stone. Yeah, I thought we clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> yep. You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the What thing. is he doing? Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Just, you don't have to go way out there. Just... Pull, boy! Um... Okay. Jules? That was... He won't kill. No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Oh! Real quick! Oh, he's way out there. I'm going as fast as I can. Okay, I'm coming! My health is not doing well. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm Okay, how is he still alive? I'm coming. I get you, Sim. I got you. Oh God, no. Dutch! Shoot something! <laughs> I am. Don't look behind you. Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you care. I got you covered. I am running out of stamina. Oh, God, no! Please turn! No, 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 no! I am running out of stamina and my core is very empty. Give me the boy. <sighs> Put him here, come on! I'm coming! Give me here! Oh, it's squirting blood! Finish that son of a bitch! Oh her. my! You're gonna be all right, Jules. Gosh. Just hold on. Keep shooting. Uh oh. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Apply a bandage. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. <laughs> look at the blood squirt now. Yeah. 
L2 and R2. Yeah. I've stopped the blade. I think you'll be okay if you don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God oh, damn it. No. Put every bullet you got in him. Get ahead of us. You see him? Yes. I'm shooting. I gotta reload. This is not the gun I had equipped earlier. Okay. I think it's had enough. Now, you think? Jesus, can we get back now? <sighs> You're gonna be okay, kid. Uh, Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big ones is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know. I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squealing. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. He's a bad man. I know. Okay. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. What was... that monsters out here. <sighs> well... What was the point of going that way? If Dutch has to go all the way back to camp anyways, and then come back again? I don't get it. Why don't we just go in on the road? Since we're like, right on the road. Uh-huh. Um... Where's Dutch? Oh, way over there. So... Huh? What? We rode to La Grasse. We boated down here? Why? Why don't we just... Yeah, ride this way, cross the bridge, then here we are. I'm confused.